afternoon or evening, wherever it is that you are. Welcome back to my channel, beauties. If you're new, hi, my name's Janelle. And if you're not new, my name's still Janelle. Thank you so much for being here. So today, I'm very excited. I'm about to be unhauling some books, moving and reorganizing my bookshelves. So it's gonna be a really fun time. You have to stop. You have, you have to stop. <laughs> Yeah, so essentially, you guys are probably like, I swear you've reorganized your bookshelves like four times already. Yeah, I really have. Um, seriously, you're creepy. Go over there. Jonathan and I have had my bookshelves here since we got married. So like, how, how many months ago? So almost eight months. And we're getting kind of bored with them being here. And we now have a like completely blank wall. And we kind of just want to turn that into my little library. So we're going to be moving my bookshelves over there. Um, and I just want to reorganize them. I want to get rid of some books because I have books on here I know that I will never read. I don't know why they're still on my shelves So I'm really excited and then this sofa table right here is still gonna stay here and have Some books on it, but the majority of my books. I think I'm going to move Over there and then my green reading chair is going to come with me as well so I'm really excited to have like my own little like reading space um, and then for just future reference, I am going to be doing another one of these reorganizing my bookshelves video because I think for Christmas, I'm going to be getting new bookshelves. So I'll probably film this again. There's that, but I did want to just go ahead and get this done because we need to kind of make some room for our tree. So bookshelves are going to be moving over there so we can put our tree over here. Oh, it's also storming outside. Um, that's why the power just went out for a second. Um, so yeah, it's a really gloomy, stormy day, um, so I feel like it's the perfect time to be inside organizing. Um, so that is what Jonathan and I are going to do. Jonathan's going to help me this morning, which is so awesome. Um, and then once I figure out what books I'm going to unhaul, I will talk about those later. And then we're going to, I think, drive to a bookstore about 45 minutes from us that takes donations, and I'm going to donate all of them, but I also get credit. So however many books I give them, I also get to get, I think. I think that's how it works. I get to get from them. You know what I mean? So we're gonna do a little tradesies. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get all these book bookshelves, all these books off the shelves so that we can move them to the other wall. are up I really like the cozy feel over here I also like having my bookshelves like absolutely together except for this piece that I really need to get off um so now it's time to put all my books back on the shelf which I don't know how I want my shelves to look I know I want to have my book of the month books like going across the top because I have so many of them so I know that much um, but for right now, I'm just going to start going through my books and figuring out what I'm keeping and what I'm not. So let's do that.
Okay, so I have finished organizing all of my books and I do love my shelves. I love where they are. I love that they're both like connected. So it just makes me feel like I am beginning my library. Um, I'm not like, like perfectly happy with the way that they're organized just cause it's kind of random. Um, except for obviously my book of the month shelf. And then I decided to do like a rainbow ish shelf. And then I had to move into books that just needed to fit on the shelf. Um, and then I did like a black, white and red themed shelf, which I really do love. Um, and then I'll show you guys the bottom ones in just a second. Um, but definitely very randomized, but I do enjoy it and it's great for my OCD. The lights on the shelf look so cute. I'm so happy with it. And I still have a whole string of like 35 feet of fairy lights. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. Um, but yeah, I'm super, super happy with them. Um, now let me show you the bottom of the shelf and then let's talk about the books that I am unhauling. Okay. So for a quick tour, we have my book of the month books all up there. And of course I had to put the love hypothesis on display because I love that book. And then this is my little rainbow shelf with all of the like short hardcovers that I have. And then that is my black, white, and red themed shelf. And then for the rest of the shelf, I just have like a Cassandra Clare section with my little Harry Potter candle and then just some more like small paperback kind of books to merge into this side with all just like short basic paperbacks. And then down here, very randomized, but like some series and then like just some random hardcover books that didn't have a spot, my jar of bookmarks. And then this is like my middle grade kind of shelf with some more bookmarks in that bag and of course the battery for the lights and then down here all the way at the bottom we just have more like random books I have some classics and then I have like really old books like the Hunger Games and the Divergent series that like got me into reading and then I have like the comic manga and graphic novel section along with some like super short paperbacks and even two like mass market paperbacks Okay, so now this section of our house is like way, way bare. So we're thinking about some decor ideas to kind of fill the space a little bit. But I did want to talk about all of the books that I am unhauling. Just like a lot of books. Okay, so let's just begin. First things first, I'm giving away this ACT study guide. I don't need that. Um, I am also unhauling... Halloween Party by Agatha Christie. I just didn't enjoy this and I know I'm not going to reread it. So why keep it on my shelf? I'm um, also giving away The Girls in the Garden by Lisa Jewell. I did really enjoy this. Like I really did love this book, but I know that I am not going to go back to it. So I don't want it to take up space on my shelf. I'm also giving away The Giver by Lois Lowry. I did love this as a kid, but I just don't think I'll ever go back to it. Um, I'm also giving away out of my mind by sharon m draper this was an arc i got when i worked at barnes noble and i really just got it just to say that i had some arcs so we're getting rid of it um, i'm also giving away a stranger in a strange land this is one of jonathan's books that he read and he started reading it and said it was just too weird for him so we're just gonna give it away i'm also giving away the cruelty by Scott Bergstrom. This I got at like my Dollar Tree and this is when I was really trying to just have as many books as I could on my shelf and I just know I'm not gonna read this so I'm giving it away. I also have Vasa in the Night by Sarah Porter. This one I actually got in a book box subscription and I just, this doesn't interest me so. I also have The Sandman by Lars Kepler. It came in the same book, book box as Vasa in the Night and I'm not gonna read it so goodbye. I also have Watch You Burn by Amanda Searcy. This one I did enjoy, but it's just, yikes. It's just aging and doesn't even have a dust jacket and I'm not gonna read it again. Also, Poison's Kiss by Brianna Shields. I just, I don't know. This is another one of the random Dollar Tree books. It's gotta go. I'm also giving away Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers. I read this, didn't like it, so it's gotta go. I am also giving away Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Also hated this book. I don't want it on my shelf. Um, I'm also giving away Radical by David Platt. I actually have never read this book, but I don't plan on reading it anytime soon. So I figured I'll just give it away. Also giving away Spooky Florida by S.E. 
glosser. I don't know. Um, I read this. It wasn't that great. I'm not going to read it again. Um, I'm also giving away like this whole series, this Terry Blackstock distortion stays true. Wow. What did I just say? Truth stained lies. And I think there's one more. I have three of these like in a series and my grandmother got me these for Christmas last year. And I just don't think I'm going to end up picking them up. So I would rather them go to someone who's actually going to read them. Also, Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth. I've had this for like four or five years. Um, my mom bought me this after I ended up loving the Divergent series when I was in middle school. And I have yet to read it, so I'm just not going to read it, obviously. Also, A Long Walk to Water. Read this in middle school, I think, and I did like it. But again, I'm not going to pick it back up. Watchers by Dean Koontz. This one's really sad for me to give away because my aunt has been waiting on me to read this and I did start it, but just is not my kind of book. Also Chomp by Carl Hyacin. I read this also in middle school and I'm pretty sure I hated it. So it's gotta go. Um, I am also giving away Illuminae um, from the Illuminae files. Um, I actually have two copies of this book. So I just am getting rid of one, I don't need two. I'm also getting giving away Lean In for Graduates by Cheryl Sandberg. This was gifted to me by someone from my church, I think. And it's like a book for college graduates and I'm not in college nor am I graduating. So it doesn't really apply to me. Um, Take Me With You by Andrea Gibson. I did read this and it was pretty good, but I don't think I'm gonna go back to it. Everything Here Is Beautiful by Mira T. Lee. This does sound interesting, but I don't think I'm ever going to prioritize it, so. I'd rather just give it away. Um, In a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. This I've had on my shelves for years and I just haven't even had the desire to pick it up, so. Also, Loki, Where Mischief Lies by Mackenzie Lee. This one I did start and I DNF'd it. I hated it, so giving this away. And it's kind of got some like water damage, so I don't even know if they're gonna take that book. Um, And then Dealing in Dreams by Lillian Rivera. This is another one of the Dollar Tree books that I got, which sounded interesting at the time. But again, I don't think I'm gonna prioritize it. Next up, we have Moonrise by Sarah Crossan. Um, I read this, it's written in verse. I hated it, so it's leaving. Um, next, I have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by JK Rowling. So I have the whole series. We just have two copies of the second one. I think this one was Jonathan's copy from when he was younger. So we're just gonna keep my series and give this one away. Also, Neil by Candace Buford. This is an arc I got from Barnes and Noble and I'm not, going to read it, I don't think so. Um, also, Nil by Lynn Matson. I did read this, it's actually signed by um, the author. Um, my friend lended this to me in high school and she never, I never ended up giving it back. I did like it, but I'm not gonna read this again. Okay, Starters by Lisa Price. This is another book that I read in middle school, I think, and I did love this book, but I'm not gonna go back to it, so. In Five Years by Rebecca Searle. If you watch my mountain vacation vlog, you guys know that I was not a huge fan of this and I know I'm never gonna read it again, so I'm putting it away. Over My Dead Body by Jeffrey Archer. This is another arc that I got. It's a thriller. It sounded interesting at the time, but I just don't have a desire to read it. Here's another one from that series. Also, Dear My Blank, Secret Letters Never Sent. This is actually really fun, but I'm not, I'm not gonna go back to this, so. That series again. Uh, but then I came back by Estelle Lahr. This one I read and I did not like, so away it goes. Um, also, The Lost Carousel of Province by Juliet Blackwell. I got this in the book box too. It's just, I, I'm not interested in it. Okay, um, Delirium by Lauren Oliver. I did really enjoy this book. However, I don't plan on reading it again nor finishing the series, so. Um, I'm also giving away The Power of a Praying Wife by Stormy Omar. Omar? I don't know. Um, I have the miniature version of this, so I don't need two, and I'd rather save some space on my shelves, so I'm just going to keep the miniature version. Playing the Cards You're Dealt by Varian Johnson. This is another arc that I picked up when I worked at Barnes & Noble, and I just, I don't plan on reading it. I don't know why I grabbed the arcs. Another arc, We Are Not Like Them by Christina Pride and Joe Piazza. I think, don't plan on reading this. It didn't even sound interesting to me when I saw it, but I just felt the need to collect books, even if I wasn't going to read them, so... I'm over that phase now. Um, the Complete Book of Midwifery by Barbara Brennan and Joanne Ratner Howman. So this is actually gifted to me by one of my teachers in high school um, when I really wanted to be a midwife, which I still have that desire. I just, it's not at the forefront of my mind. 
um, but she gave this to me and it's a really sweet gift and I have read it, but I just I'm not gonna read it again. I do like the note in here though, so I might like take a picture of it. Um, this Present Darkness by Frank E. Peretti. Um, I just, I've tried to read this multiple times and it's just not my kind of book. So I'm giving it away. Uh, next up, Down With The Shine by Katie Carius Quinn. This one I got a while back at like a secondhand bookstore and it does sound interesting, but again, I don't think I'm gonna prioritize it. Next we have Strangers and Cousins, a novel by Leah Hager Cohen. This one I got in one of the little free libraries that I went to and I just know that I'm not gonna pick this up. Next up I have Glow by Tim Jordan. Um, this one is actually a book that Jonathan purchased from Barnes & Noble and he just, is this one you tried to read? He said, yeah, I think this is the one he tried to read and it was just way too informational and not enough story. So he's not gonna read it, so we're giving it away. Also, The Learning Curve by Mandy Berman. My sister actually gifted this to me, but it's just not my kind of book. So I don't think I'm gonna pick it up. Uh, City of Lies by Victoria Thompson. This one I also got in a little free library and I'm not, I'm not gonna read this. Um, Nofic Gloss by Essa Hansen is another one of Jonathan's books, but I'm pretty sure this is the one that he read. He's not interested in this anymore, so we're giving it away. Um, and then second to last, we have Outlawed by Anna North. This is a book of the month book. I tried reading this. Um, I got to page 36, hated it. So giving it away. And last but not least, we have Girl in Pieces by Kathleen Glasgow. Um, this one I got at the same secondhand bookstore as Down with the Shine and it does sound interesting and I see it floating around on Bookstagram and Booktube, but I don't feel like reading it. So given away. So that was, that was 53 books that I am giving away. I'm really, really proud of myself actually for even giving away books because I'm usually like so much of a book collector that like, even if I'm not going to read it, I will keep it, but I'm kind of moving out of that phase. So everything on my shelves are books that I do plan to read or have already read. So just, I like to declutter my life sometimes and that's what we're doing. Um, so yeah, that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have no idea how long this video is going to be, but I had a lot of fun reorganizing my bookshelves and moving them and just making it all cozy and, and getting rid of some clutter. So that's super nice. Um, I don't know if Jonathan and I are going to drive to the bookstore now that's 45 minutes away. I think he's kind of over today, so we'll see. But um, yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.